Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm in Kansas City, Missouri, here for an Angels competition bikini photo shoot. Yes, so I'm trying on all these bikinis, taking pics, and then after I'm all finished, I wanna catch a flight to Denver to meet up with Coach Adam as we prepare for the Battle in the Desert. So I'll be there for a week, then we're heading to Texas. Yeehaw! Stay tuned. Here's what I'm trying on today. All these bikinis. This one looks familiar, right? Some of them are figure suits, some of them are like wellness, but yeah. I'm trying them all on. Ooh. That's a wrap, Angels competition, bikini shoot complete. I had a great time, tried on lots of bikinis, but now it's time to catch a flight to Denver. Hello everybody, I made it to Denver here with Coach Adam. I had a flight last night from Kansas City, Missouri. Now I'm in Denver, Colorado to spend the week with Coach Adam as we prepare for the Battle in the Desert. It's peak week, it's officially peak week. It is. And another significant thing about this week is it's probably my last trip to Denver for uh, a while. Oh yeah, it is. My last workout in the Contest Prep Center. Yeah. Wow, it's gonna be sad, but bittersweet. I'm glad you're coming to Vegas. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit tired today. That shoot yesterday was long. A little bit tiring and a little bit jet lagged here, but gotta push through. It's leg day, one of the last leg days till the competition. So let's make it count. Yeah, yeah, we got about three. Let's see, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All okay. right, that's the leg well, schedule this week. I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's crush it. <laughs> All right guys, this is one of our last two leg days of peak week. We're either gonna have one or two more after this, depending on how she looks tomorrow when we pose. But we're pushing hard today because it help, tends to help her when we're week out, kind of show those tines a little better, crisp up a little bit, and then we take it easy the rest of the week. But it's gonna be a tough one. Tough one today and she doesn't have the energy for it. She just flew in. Jet lagged. Jet lagged. <laughs> Well, we can uh, we can get a little softer this week too. 
<laughs> my butt is winking at you. <laughs> yes, you. Can you get some carbs in this week? You get a little soft so you can close the hamstrings just a little bit. You do get a, we do get a little you up a little bit. You're, you're crazy hard right now. Your lower has a shot. Look at all the way down and then you get the low here. Oh, the V muscle. What's the V muscle called? That's still your rectus abdominis. It's just the very rectus abdominis. <laughs> but it's way. I mean, you have to clear all the way below the full rectus, like it's showing. That's that's leader than like. Guys, the guy, like guys go like they want the ski muscle. Yeah. For them, like I could get all the leads. And then you're showing separation for ear to each. Yeah, that's a rare one. That's that's, that's leaner than you've been in a long time. Since like mile high of 2,000, like yeah, look at that. I just don't know how you got leaner while you were, because you didn't work out in a... <laughs> you didn't work out in at Angels. I will say though, I don't feel like my abs are as lean as you think they are. But that's good though. That's good. I do feel like here though. Yeah. It's lean. It's like in the right place. Like, yeah, so like, I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination, but even though you saw the extra ab, I don't feel like they're like... They don't, I know what you're saying. They're not deep. Yeah, they're not as deep as usual. Yeah, so that's good. But then I do feel like when I'm here for some lean. reason, lean. like around <laughs> here, yeah, it's like, yeah, you, I've never seen you go right here, I'm like, go all that, and then you can stretch it through there, and then also your full, your full bottom of your rectus is showing, your rectus is like right here, that's crazy. I would say you're probably leaner now, but you're flat enough too, because yeah. it's prolonged, you know, and that's, maybe that's what's why you're so, they're not as dense. Okay. So, um, all right, let's uh, get this first started now. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, yeah. You'd be great. Alright, yeah. <laughs> it's easy. This is easy. Yeah. 
Good morning, everybody. We are only a few days out from the Battle of the Desert today. I think I'm going to get my scans. So I'll get my measurements and heck, I'll even get my wig too. Let's see. So I'm about to weigh myself. I usually don't weigh myself, especially before shows, because sometimes the number can mess with my head. Like let's say I'm fighting to get lean enough for that show and I know I still have a little bit to lose. If I see a number that might be a little bit too high from my previous competitions, that might freak me out. That might like really kind of mess with my head. But since for this show, I already feel like I'm already there. I'm already lean enough. I don't really mind so much what the number says. So let's just for kicks and giggles see yeah. what the scale is telling me today. So last year we were about 119, 120 on show days. So I didn't choose a little bit more muscular now. I guessed 120. But it looks like looks like she's gonna be about 121 and a quarter or so. Pretty good. Some quality lean mass gaining though. That's a and couple pounds. A couple and, pounds. And some poops. And some poops. <laughs> All on them shoulder caps. So we are doing a posing check on Ash today. We are four days out from the battle in the desert. That's right. They moved. It used to be in Vegas. Ashley's looking like a lean bean. Lean bean. And we are thinking she might need to carve up a little bit more today and get some fats in her just to, just to get a little bit softer because she's getting crazy lean. Why is your metabolism on fire right now? I don't know because I, I don't know. I've been pretty consistent with the diet and especially like after the shows that I've been doing, I will say that I, ha I never went like off only like one treat meal. Yeah. Croutons. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I always say that. Stay stay lean, don't blow up after your shows. Yes. To make it for easier prep. So now this prep is a little bit easier. Cardio's down. She's just doing some walking to like the store really. <laughs> and uh, we're carving up and having a lot of fun with it. So, so much fun, Anna. <laughs> Thank you so much fun. So we are reviewing Ashley from before the clash to now. So this is over here is the clash. And this is um, her a couple days before the show. So waistline now, 22.9. Waistline of the clash, 23.8. Almost a full inch. Almost a full inch. But what's cool is, um, and that was not even at the smallest point. This is 23.8 at the smallest point, and 23.2 at the smallest point, which is a lot harder to get smaller. But my smallest point was there last time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so the case okay, so the smallest point, 22.9, and then the smallest point over here, 23.8. So yeah. Almost an inch. Almost an inch. Mm -hmm. And then what's cool is if you look at it closely, which is- I can see the divot here more. Do you see? Yeah. More of a divot. More, more tapering to her waistline, so there's a lot more tapering to the waistline versus here. But the other thing is, if you look here, you can see a lot more density in the abs than here. So you got smaller, leaner, and less dense on the abs. That's well, crazy. What about my legs, I'm curious. The legs? Yeah. Legs are hard for you to come down. Bye. I don't need yeah. to come down. It's the Flat. same, same. yeah. yeah That's that. fine, because I mean, I don't need to lose leg. Yeah. Um, um, but I'm just, yeah, the biggest thing is the waist is the most important thing, I guess, you know? Yeah. What about my calves? Yeah, let's see. <laughs> my calves look bigger today. Doesn't matter, but same. I was saying, wow, same that's practice. consistency. Your, your legs pretty much rarely move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like 0.2 if it moves at all. Yeah, so, what about that neck measurement, bro? The neck measurement? Yeah. That one has the highest variance. Neck gains? Well, oh my god, my neck went down in it. It could be, <laughs> you know what? I think it's the, the suit, strap on my yeah. suit or something. Yeah, it's, or is it? This one's over the strap. <laughs> That's why. Oh, I see, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's like higher, so it's so we won't count that. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to tell, but I think I can see more pop in the shoulder. The rear gel, oh, yeah. rear gel pop. Look at this right in the middle. The tape off. Oh, yeah, more dense, too. Rear gel and the tricep. You just pull it here in the back, but you're. It's crazy because you're technically leaner here. You might even just be flexing more in the pose. That's true, I think I was. It's hard to hit that exactly. Yeah. But, um, yeah, 
Okay. Tines look good. Um, you're a little... Dang, I lost booty. Yeah. Get it back. Gotta get it back. <laughs> it's crazy. Your shape is changing a little bit from there. Yeah. So. Dang, I lost the butt, but I also lost ass too. Yeah. So. Well, you're one inch down everywhere. Yeah. So that's what we so do I in guess the office. that's a consistent loss then. Yep. The shape is kind of the same, just smaller. Smaller version. shape. Okay. Smaller, less dense, and actually probably what's surprising is more full too. Like your look is more full, but not as dense. More poppy, I guess. Yeah, more pop. More of a active. Yeah. So that's what we're doing in the office today. We're going over its stats and data. I'm happy. Yeah. Happy with this look. Yeah, you did a, you're a great And I'm coasting in yeah. to peak week. You know, I feel like Clash was kind of like I was more stressed. Like I hope I get lean enough in time. Whereas now I'm kind of in a good spot where I'm just coasting. Yeah. Feels good just to relax. And just coast into peak week and not do carbs. Yeah. <laughs> and eat carbs. You're brave today too. You did your weight and your skins comparison. Yeah. That can mess with someone's head big yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Well, I already yeah. know I'm lean. Yeah. Like so. Sometimes you get people who compare their skins and they might have been a little better the last time. And like it, it's a nightmare yeah. like for the mindset. You know. So that was good. You know, you're you're confident. Yeah. Yeah, and this shows right. So we're good. Yeah. So I just got back from the contest prep center and filmed a podcast with Coach Adam for our Bikini and the Brain podcast. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it if you've been following me for a while. But today was a pretty good day. Um, I trained shoulders today and I posed and I scanned. Scans are looking good. I'm happy about that. Posing is coming along a lot better as well and making improvements. But yeah, we only have a few days left till the show and it's about this time where I'm starting to get nervous. And you might be surprised that I get nervous, but I do. And I always like to say, it's okay to be a little bit nervous. In fact, it's a good sign that you care. Because if you didn't care about something, you'd be like, oh, you know, whatever, uh, just another day. But I do get nervous. And I always come into the show with the same mindset like I am there to do my best I hope I see improvements on stage and whatever happens as long as I know I put in as much effort as I possibly could as long as I did the right things as far as posing and hair and makeup and just give it my best that day and don't make any stupid mistakes then I'm happy with myself just like last show at the Tahoe I was really happy with my package I brought very um, satisfied and you know there is a little things I could have improved on from that show but for the most part you know I did the dang thing and I'm super happy and I saw the improvements that I made even from last show so always learning always improving that's the goal as far as number placement honestly I don't really like to think about that so much um, I just like to focus more so on what I'm bringing to the stage. It's always, you know, who knows in bikini what's gonna happen and am I lean, am I not lean enough, am I too lean? You never know. So depending on who shows up and who doesn't show up, we'll see. And you know, in bikini especially, there's always that fine line of being too lean, not lean enough. And you know, it's out of all the classes and out of all the divisions, I would say it's the most as Coach Adam likes to say, volatile, and it can go so many different ways. And especially with bikini, it's a very subjective division, not like bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is kind of like, okay, the biggest, leanest, most symmetrical guy wins. But in bikini, there are so many more factors involved. And um, so that's why, you know, you can never go into a show assuming you're gonna win or expecting to win, or I mean, I guess you can, but I sure as heck don't. No matter what show it is, I never come in with any placement assumptions because like I said, so many things are at play when it comes to the judging of the bikini itself. So, you know, maybe 
they want a more athletic looking girl, maybe they want a softer looking girl, maybe they like taller girls, maybe they like shorter, curvier girls. You never know. So bikini, there's a lot of different things that can go either which way. And there are so many amazing girls that are gonna be on that stage. So let's see, let's see how it goes. And oh yeah, talk with my hands a lot because yeah, just got my nails done. You girls know, when you first get your nails done, you're always talking like this. But anyway, yeah, I'm going with the red nails. Guess what suit I'm wearing, no wonder. But my toenails also match. So I've never worn red nails on stage. It's actually a little scary because usually I go conservative with the nails. But I was like, you know what? I see other girls winning and their nails are more than just like the natural neutral nails. So I'm gonna try something new. Let's try it. I like the red nails. Very classy, classic color. So elegant. But anyway, I will keep you guys updated. All right, everyone, peak week is a wrap. Tomorrow we head out to Texas, yeehaw, <laughs> to compete at the Battle of the Desert on Saturday. So we're about to hit these shoulders one last time. Hopefully get some good sleep tonight and then flights in the morning. Oh, and just so you guys know, check this out. Oh. Check this out. Do you know what this reference is? <laughs> to our Bikini and the Brain podcast. So make sure you check it out. We'll actually put the link here in the description. We just wrapped up the Bikini and the Brain podcast, actually. So, you know, pretty awesome. I like that. Yes, absolutely. So thank you guys so much for watching. And Adam, any last words before we head into the show? I'm just ready. I you think ready? you're ready. I think All you right. are. I'm ready. You're ready. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. See you later. Bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs>